I am Dr. Sharjeel and uh, you are watching my YouTube channel. Now today I presented uh, this case as a challenging case. I usually solve the challenging cases after uh, two to three weeks and sometimes even after months. But this was a very interesting case. And I'll go in the background of this case. I have many academic WhatsApp groups uh, just like I have got this YouTube channel and yesterday in one of the academic group uh, ocular discussion form we have a great discussion about the similar disease the discussion was initiated by my dear friend colleague um, top-notch uh, medical retina and uitis specialist Hashem Ali Khan who is fellow of American Academy of Optometry and a renowned author of uh, internationally published articles. So he started the academic discussion by showing two similar looking colored fundus photographs of two distinct different entities. In both uh, macula was spared and surrounded by whitish particles all around up to periphery just like the lesion I am showing you. So we agreed upon the differential diagnosis uh, that these can be retinitis pigmentosa, albicens, fundus albipunctatus, benign familial fleck retina, star guard fundus flavi maculatus. And but uh, whenever uh, you have got a fleck retina you should also include retinitis pigmentosa then when we started to rule out one by one like the in common uh, retinitis pigmentosa you will find vascular attenuation disc uh, atrophy gliosis uh, and bony spicules so we ruled out rp because there are no bony spicules here then comes uh, another rp albicens now rp albicens is a type of uh, a variant of uh, retinitis pigmentosa so again you will find vascular changes attenuation and dysgliosis which was not present so rp albicens is also ruled out then came the names of star guard and its variant uh, fundus flavi maculatus so you will find maculopathy in star guard and fundus flavi maculatus and here macula is spared of flex and atrophy. A perfect fovea and macula means no fundus flavi maculatus or star guard disease. So then we are left with fundus albipunctatus and benign familiar flex retina. And now Hashim has pointed out a difference in their clinical presentations which is otherwise difficult to distinguish from each other. Like fundus albi, as the name indicate, has punctate, sharper, relatively superficial, discrete, more denser lesions. They don't coalesce and pattern remains same till periphery and patient will complain of night blindness. Whereas in benign familial flak retina, the patient will be asymptomatic, uh, lesions will be a bit yellowish, uh, relatively deeper, uh, which can be differentiated on OCT, macula sparing, just like uh, in LB sense, uh, but not as discrete and sharp as LB lesions. Uh, they will be less dense, uh, larger, and they coalesce uh, towards the periphery. So in summary, again, disc and vessels are affected in retinitis pigmentosa and its variants like albicens. Macula is affected in star guard and fundus flavi maculatus. And if disc vessels, if disc is healthy, vessels are healthy and macula is healthy, then we have benign familial uh, flak retina or fundus albipunctatus as differentials. And with night blindness and white punctate discrete lesions we came to the diagnosis of fundus albipunctatus so i diagnosed this case as a fundus albipunctatus 
बिकॉज ऑन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ माई यस्टरडेज डिस्कशन नॉलेज दिस ट्वेल्व ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल पेशेंट केम विद कंप्लेंट्स ऑफ नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस सिंस बर्थ एंड एज सून एज आई फोकस द फंडस आई स्माइल द डायग्नोज इट एज अ केस ऑफ फंडस एलबी पंक्टेटस विच इज़ अ टाइप ऑफ कंजेनिटल स्टेशनरी नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस नाउ कंजेनिटल स्टेशनरी नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस कैन बी ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू नॉर्मल अपेयरिंग retina and those with retinal changes so retinal changes are present in aguchi disease and fundus albi punctatus now as the name indicates congenital so it's congenital disease stationary it means that night blindness is a non progressive in nature uh, and stationary you can counsel the parents uh, that the disease will not progress uh, and day vision will not be affected uh, and it will remain same throughout life at the end uh, alongside hashim i would like to thank dr farooq uh, who also took active part uh, in yesterday's discussion and we have got this case i hope you have learned something thank you